Andrew, it's, what's the new deal? It's the ro it's Roosevelt. Roosevelt program to end the Great Depression. Good. And then what did you say about the hundred days? It's a, the new bill. It's a new bill in March. It's from March 9th to June 33, which was like a relief program, a recovery program, and a reform program. Relief was programs for the hungry, and recovery was programs for agriculture and industry, and reform was nation's economy. Good. Um, so what we can add there for the relief, that would be immediate. Okay. So you can add that to your notes. And then for long term, that would be recovery. And then the reform is to change the actual structure of the government. Yeah, I didn't write, I didn't write everything down. I know, but that's for your notes. I, I mean, when you I have didn't it. say everything. Oh, but gotcha. Yeah, I just had it down. Good. Um, so you had exactly what I wrote for the 100 days, that it was March 9th to mid-June of 1933. Um, it was the first hundred days of reform. So like, it was a hundred straight days of Congress making many new laws that fell under the New Deal program. Jay, can you tell us what the Dust Bowl was? The Dust Bowl was a 50 million acre region that faced a drought, heavy winds, and dust storms. Good, and what impact do you think that's going to have on the farmers? Uh, like what type of impact or what the Yeah, impact? or well, either way. Well, geographic impact and economic. Good, since okay. Since they can't make any crops. They were poor after that. Good, so that led to part I of our clauses, right? They to the California, and then California became overpopulated. Good. Um, Clark, do you want to tell us about the Social Security Act? Absolutely. <laughs> um, the workers and employees it's made so payments natural. into a special fund. Say that again, because I interrupted you. <laughs> workers and employees made payments into a special fund. Good, and do we still have that today? Do you know? Yeah. I think so, yeah. Yeah, we do, and people rely on it for retirement. Yeah. Now, if you, if back then, it was security. not supposed to be long-term. It was like, like, if they know your security number, can't they like steal your identity? Well, yeah, that's a huge issue across yeah. the nation. But So this is Social Security. It's um, out of your paycheck. Mm -hmm. You get like a portion of it taken away and put into an account by the government that they manage. So it's like a forced savings account with the federal government. And after you retire, you get that money back. Wait. Yeah. So you get like Wait, do I have a social help. security oh, yeah. number? Yeah. Wait, you're born. When you're born, you get one. But after you start working, that's when. I want it. Yeah. But I have a job, so. They're always commercials. A lot. <laughs> because people are living a lot longer. So if you retire at 65, then if you live for another 20 years, right, without a job, then you have to have enough money to last you for 20 years. I actually rather like live shorter and like retire earlier. Oh, that's nice. Why? <laughs> Life's questions in social studies. Awesome. Okay, so question number one. Question number one. Um, who feels comfortable sharing their answer? Yeah. Um. Oh, we can Julia go because yeah. she didn't go yet. So, how did programs like the PWA and CCC? Help both uh, those who were hired um, and the nation as a whole. Well, I said that it hired men to fix the environment, and that helped the nation rebuild itself and just keep it clean. And it also gave back to the community and gave them money. Right. So good. Nice. Perfect. So, like, the hired got help because it was like immediate money. Nice thumbs up, Andrew. Um, and then the nation had improved infrastructure. So that's great. Uh, number two, why did Roosevelt declare a bank holiday? Go ahead, Elena. Um, to restore confidence in the public by telling them that the banks were okay and to check the bank's money. Yeah, it um, gave them a chance to like catch up almost. Yeah. Stop to improve. So, Stop to regroup and withdraw their money. Yep, regroup and reorganize is a good way to uh, to define it. So like the bank needed to close so that like people would stop trying to withdraw their money. And that they could actually recoup and say, like, okay, we have this much, we're failing, so either we need help from the government or we need to join a bigger bank um, or we need to close completely. And that gave them a moment to, like, just breathe and, like, figure out what their problems were so that they could identify solutions. Did the banks themselves decide that they wanted to... No, the federal, the federal bank, probably uh, the federal government had um, standards that they had to meet to be able to reopen. 
um, uh, thousands of banks closed, like 5,000 banks or something like that closed. Mm -hmm. um, Does that happen today? It could if people don't pay back any of their loans. It almost happened in like 2006 when we had like the housing bubble. Mm -hmm. Banks were giving out loans for houses that people couldn't afford and the people were accepting them because they were kind of irresponsible about it. So like they couldn't repay those loans um, because they thought, oh, the house will be worth this much in like 10 years so I can sell it and then not have a problem. But then the housing market started to go down and the loans couldn't get repaid. So what happens is the bank then starts not getting their money back. So it can hurt. Like, so things that were put in place, there was a program in your reading that insured the bank accounts that FDR put in place. Did anyone catch that one? Was it the, in your deal number two? Um, it, yeah, I think so. It, I think it's on that chart there, Elena. The FD something? FDR. Yeah, FDI. Yeah, the FDIC. So like it, and now there's a government program, and that's still there. So that's a reform program because it's still around. Um, that ensures your bank account up to two hundred fifty thousand dollars, so that it would prevent something like this from occurring again. Don't you need a new bank account? Like, well, like since. Well, yeah. If you have more than that, then you want to make sure that you you move your money to be in separate accounts. Why keep your money in the bank then? Because now it's insured. So like he was trying to restore trust in the bank. Because before they didn't like trust it, so like, um, so that would help people to start using banks again. Because if people didn't use the bank, then they would never reopen either. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so question number three: Why were some people against the New Deal? Go ahead, Caroline. Um, they feared that the federal government was getting too powerful and the state government was getting weaker. Good. Yep. Um, and. When you think about it in the past, would our anti-federalists like what's happening? No. With how involved? No. Why, Jake? Do you know? They fear big governments. Yeah, and they don't want them to have that much control, right? They, they probably would have been on the side with Herbert Hoover. So like, Herbert Hoover wasn't necessarily wrong. It's just that his reaction and no action led to the depression, led to the recession getting worse and worse, and that's what it just over time it ended up being a depression. I feel like we just jumped so far in presence. We were just at Abraham Lincoln. I know. And now we're all we were just at George Washington. No, because and now we're, we're the Civil War. And we were right next to it. So oh yeah, that's right. I know we went from Revolutionary War to Civil War to FDR was president during World War Two. So Wait, we're wasn't moving. the Midwest hit the hardest though? Yeah, I would say it was hit pretty hard, but so, but you could make an argument for that because the farmers might have been hit hard, but then what about the people living like in the cities that like invested and lost their jobs? Like where are they gonna go? Um, okay, so then the last one or number four says, how did the Dust Bowl impact America um, economically? How did it impact them? Go ahead, Clark. So the drought reduced production agriculturally. Good. So agricultural uh, went down, so it was harder f to get food, especially in the Midwest. So that's what you were saying, Andrew. Um, geographically, the Dust Bowl? Go ahead, Go ahead. It destroyed crops and plains. Good. And then it left um, like a m about a million farmers to move west, right, to California by the end of the 1930s because the farms failed. They couldn't stay there. So they all started moving even further and further west. Um, the last one is opinion. Um, so which of Roosevelt's New Deal programs, either the first or the second New Deal, uh, do you think would be the most beneficial to Americans during the Great Depression? So what do you think, Clark? And some of you might disagree. I, I said number two or because uh, what the people needed were jobs and like uh, like opportunities to make money, and that's kind of what the New, the new Deal number two did. Okay. So like... On the so that immediate relief of getting people back to work? Yeah. Um, Imagine how depressing, right, for the sake of a better word, it must be if like 30% of the population is out of work mm -hmm. and they can't find a job. They like it, people, when you live your life, like people feel like identified by their job. So like if that many people lost their jobs, then that's not, that's how really hard. How much percent has a job now? I think we're 7% unemployed in America. Wow. 
Yeah. That's, that's still pretty high. That's still pretty high. I think it's seven percent. I would have to double check. Yeah, it. You want it to be like two or three. You want it to be zero is ideal, but like you want it to keep going down. You don't want it to keep rising. Um, maybe it is two or three now. It was at some point seven. I don't know. Don't quote me. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So you think the second new deal? Did anyone think that the first new deal was the most important? I do. Okay, so do you and Lena want to look at your answers and just make sure you're both just look at each other's and see if you guys can come up with like a summary? Yeah. I think it was one of the first major acts and it meets like the basic needs of people. Good. Elena, did you have anything to add? Yeah. Same thing. Julia? Right, so they obviously needed something more, yeah. right? Because the depression is long term, so that would be very logical, right? So, like, if they needed to continue on with more issues, typical Andrew. And, uh, also, <laughs> also, like, I didn't forget that. <laughs> I'm gonna, like, kill your phone. That's right. That's right. Spirit cup. <laughs> okay, so we're winning in class today. Oh, we All right. Good luck, guys. Make sure you do your work. No.